Namaste student. Today we are going to see computation of mode by grouping method. So here the question will arise that when we are going to use grouping method. See when we have ill defined. Ill defined means when your highest frequency and its preceding one is very close. Like if you see this table, this one, you can see that highest frequency is 22. That means your mode will be 125 if you think like that. But you can see that preceding one is 21 which is very close to 22 so this type of thing or sometime 22 and it also written 22 so in that case it is ill defined that means by model so we need to use grouping method and then we need to get which will be our answer this is our discrete problem that means ungrouped data and this is your group data that means continuous problem so in this case, if you see the highest frequency, we need to find model class. So here you can see that 33. So 33, if you see, the problem is like this, 170, 2 is there, this side. Okay. Now, if you see, this is your model class, if you think. But if you see the preceding one, which is very close to 33. So this is also a ill-defined problem. Or sometime, instead of 32, it may return here 33. In that time also, we need to use grouping method so let's see how to find your model class and how to find model value by using grouping method so here generally to find mode we have two methods one is by inspection and another is by mode of grouping so today we're going to learn the method which is what ill-defined problem okay that means by method of grouping so by method of grouping we have two table one is grouping table another is analyze table in grouping table in grouping table we have six column one two three four five six okay and here we have six rows and these are depend on your variate these are depend on your Value it okay. Where it means maybe it is your marks, and this side may be your what not this one, this may be your class interval. Okay, we'll see. We have few rules, we're going to see the rules also for grouping. Let's see. Here we have the rules, rules for grouping. So, one by one, we're going to learn. There are rules. First one is prepare a table consists of a six column in addition to a column for various value of x. Next, in first column, write the frequency against various value of x as given in the quotient. Third one, the second column, the sum of frequency starting from starting from top and group in twos are written. In the third column, the sum of frequency starting from second and grouped in twos are written. Next three, similarly, in fourth from top, group in threes. In fifth from second, group in threes. In sixth from third, group in threes. Now you may have a confused. Sir, what are these all? Okay, we'll see using the problem and we'll see one by one what these all okay so let's see start with the first problem here we have the problem so let's put these all are in a grouping table so here we have first one grouping table so you can see here so this is our problem okay so let's bring back our rules first rule Prepare a table consists of six column in addition to a column for various value of x. That means we need seven column. One will be for your variate and six should be for your frequency. So first one, second one, see. The first column, write the frequency against the various value of x as given in the quotient. That means... Here we have 
4, 2, 8, 22, 21, 19. These are your frequency for variate. So here, for first column, we're going to write this one. Now, we'll not bring this one anymore. Okay, we'll see the rule. Second column rule is what? From top, we'll add first two. Like 4 plus 2 is what? 6. Next, 18 plus 22. 40. Next, 21 and 19. That is 40. Next, 10 plus 3. 13. Is there anyone? For 2? No. Leave it. Proceed. Third column. Rule is leave the first one, take from second one, add this two and put it here. 2 plus 18, 20. Next, 22 plus 21, 43. Next, 19 plus 10, that is. 29 next 3 plus 2 that is 5 for the fourth column rule is what starting from first take three pair okay three numbers three frequencies at a time so add it how many will get 20 plus 4 24 Okay, next three add it. How many will get? Twenty two, yes, sixty three. Sorry, sixty three, sixty two. Okay, next add this three. How many will get? 15 put it here okay now for fifth column for fifth column rule is leave the first one add from second one two three like that one two three like that so here we have 2 18 20 20 plus 22 what we'll get So here we have now 20 and 22. So here we get 42. Okay. Next 21, 19, 10. How many will get? 40. 50 will get. Next proceed. Leave 1 and 2. Start from 3rd. 1, 2, 3 add like that. 18, 22, 21. If you add, you will get 61. Next. 1, 2, 3 you add. How many will get? 29 plus 3. That is 32. Okay. Now, after that, you need to find the highest one. So here you can see and we will circle it. Highest one is what? 40, 40. And this one highest? 43. And this... 62 in this 50 in this 61 okay now we're going to see analyze table and how to find the analyze table data so here you need to use gobi table so here we have data you can see that high frequency we have circled here so now you need to see that 22 corresponding to 22 
which value of x is there so corresponding to 22 we have what 125 so we'll take here 125 at the place of 125 we'll write here one bar okay next highest frequency for the second column see for second column we'll proceed highest frequency is 40 and 40 so this 40 how did we get by adding these two frequency so corresponding to 18 what is there 115 and corresponding to 22 what we have 125 so for second column 115 125 okay and one more we have 40 that is 21 plus 19 so corresponding to 21 135 corresponding to 19 145 so 135 145 next column 3 if we look at column 3 highest frequency is 43 by adding 2 see column 1 adding 2 2 frequency adding 2 frequency leaving 1 adding 3 frequency adding 3 frequency adding 3 frequency so here taking top leaving top starting with third okay so now 43 by adding which two frequency 22 and 21 the corresponding to 22 is what 125 and corresponding to 21 is what 135 so for 43 that means for column 3 we have 125 and 135 we'll take bar on 125 and 135 let's proceed for what 62 so what we have for 62 see for three frequency that means by adding three frequency we are getting this 62 so by which three frequency we have got this so you can see that by adding this three frequency for 22 we have 125 125 145 that means fourth column 1 Two five one three five one four five. Let's proceed for column number third, leaving the top. Okay, now we have fifty. So by adding which three frequency, we are getting fifty. So fifty we are getting by adding twenty one, nineteen, and ten. Starting 21 corresponding to 21 what we have 135 145 155 column fifth that is 135 45 55 last column that is column 6 highest frequency 61 corresponding to 61 which are there by adding which leaving top 1 2 3 adding this 3 we are getting 61 that means 115 125 135 115 125 125 now we need to add this add it we are getting here 0 0 2 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 and here one see in this case in both we are getting five five so this is your ill defined so after getting analyzed table if we'll get this type of data that means there's ill defined so what we need to do we need to go for empirical formula and we need to find from the mode from there okay problem the so second problem if you see here uh, compute the value of the mod for the falling frequency distribution which is continuous so here we have 100 to 110 110 to 120 120 to 130 
and so on up to this so we'll take it in a grouping table so here we have grouping table now we're going to put it on a grouping table already we have put it now our target is for second column what we're going to do for second column first two we'll add so 10 what we'll get 52 next add it here uh, that is your 41 so it will remain left no need to touch highest frequency is 52 next leaving the first at 2 2 that means 26 next add this 2 will get 65 and this 2 will get 10 highest frequency 65 circle it next proceed for the fourth column adding 1 2 3 1 2 3 like that so we'll get here 10 20 30 next if we we'll add this what we are getting 65 plus 8 that means what we are getting 73 now if we we'll proceed for fifth column that is what leaving the first add 3 what we have here 52 plus 6 58 next so circle it here 73 next 3 10 plus 33 43 we have highest one 58 next for sixth column leave first two add one two three like that so you, you can add only this one because we are not getting any pair uh, one two three number here so if we we'll add it how many will get 20 30 50 80 85 will get and this is only one so we'll take this one so for this one we need this table here so we're going to make a <coughs> analyze table using this part so here we have table so let's see so for column one okay so for column one highest frequency is which one 33 so 33 so column one 140 150 so where is 140 150 this is take one bar on it next 52 by adding which two frequency this see 20 plus 32 corresponding to 20 is this one corresponding to 32 this 120 100 22 130 and 132 140 so for second column for this class interval and for this class interval one one bar third column proceed third column 65 adding which two this two 132 140 142 150 30 and 142 150 next 73 by adding 3 by adding 3 starting top and this 3 1 2 3 if that you will get this one I hope so yes so by adding this 3 30 140 150 30 140 150 for 6 column 58 leaving top 1 2 3 58 comes under this category that means 110 120 130 110 120 130 for 85 leaving 2 adding this 3 in which category 120 130 150 120, 130, 140. Now you add 1, 1, 2, 3, 3 bar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 bar, and 1 bar. So your highest frequency means highest bar is which one? 5. This is your model class. Here, model class is which is 132, 140. Now, whatever rule we have for mod 
like this is L is what 1 and 30 now we have frequency table so take it uh, this is your model class and this is your F F0 uh, this is your F1 this is your F0 this is your F2 use this concept and use the formula of mod and you will get your mod value I hope you people have understood thank you